each Sunday, Catholics profess a belief in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church and affirm a core set of beliefs in a creed that dates back to the early church. The term Catholic and being Catholic means different things to different people. And many ask, what does it mean to be Catholic? The word Catholic was first used by Saint Ignatius of Antioch, who referred to the universal, all-encompassing and welcoming nature of the church. He said, where there is Christ Jesus, there is the Catholic Church. Jesus is at the heart of the church. When people publicly profess their faith, they affirm Jesus' plan to bring together all of humanity into one family, the people of God. Through the gift of baptism, we become brothers and sisters of Jesus, who is the saviour of all and who invites each of us, come follow me. As Catholics, we are called to be disciples and witnesses of Jesus. We are sent out to proclaim the good news and to continue his mission. Throughout his public ministry, Jesus' words and actions healed the spiritual and physical wounds of those he encountered. He also offered freedom from social, economic and political injustice. Jesus offered hope. As the body of Christ, the church is called and empowered to carry on this work and we take seriously the joys and the hopes, the grief and the anxieties of other people and seek to respond as Christ did in love, truth and compassion. Essentially, the church is very similar to what it was 2,000 years ago. The early church was characterised by four distinctive features the proclamation of the good news, the instruction of the people, participation in the community through fellowship and worship, especially around the Eucharist, and service to the community, especially the poor and marginalised. These remain at the heart of the church's mission today. In keeping with Jesus' mandate to go out and baptise all nations, the church proclaims the gospel to every corner of the world. Aware of and attentive to the signs of the times, the church uses new mediums to convey a message which is ever ancient, ever new. When undertaking this universal mission, she recognises the need to place her work within the local social and cultural context. So there is a great diversity in the public expression and liturgical worship of the Catholic faith. No single vision or expression will ever exhaust the riches of its mystery. Within this diversity, however, there is always unity. The communion of Catholic churches is united around the Holy Father, the Bishop of Rome, successor of St. Peter. While St. Peter established the early Christian church in Rome, Many of the other apostles founded other faith communities as they spread the message of the gospel. Andrew preached in the area that was to become known as Constantinople. St. James established the community of Jerusalem. St. Mark founded the church in Alexandria. And St. Thomas preached as far as India. Also, Paul of Tarsus was a great figure in the early church. Although a contemporary of Jesus, he had never met him during his public life, but St. Paul nevertheless became a great missionary evangelist. No one traveled more across land and sea with the sole aim of proclaiming the gospel than St. Paul, also joining St. Peter in Rome. The Eastern Catholic churches have ancient roots that come directly from these apostolic missions. And they form an integral part of the heritage of the Catholic Church while being fully autonomous and having their own distinct liturgies and customs, these churches are united with Rome as one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. In the early years of the third millennium, the church stands as a beacon of hope for the people of God, providing a moral compass upon which we can live our lives. We are a community of faith, hope and love. 
and ours is a faith which accepts, not judges, and bridges, not divides. As Catholics, we are first and foremost Christians. We believe that Jesus is the Son of God and it is He who has redeemed us and draws us into a fullness of life in the Holy Spirit. We believe that sacred scripture is the Word of God, illuminating the story of His people and revealing the path of salvation. We believe that both faith and reason enable us to answer the great questions about life. Ours is not a club to belong to, rather it's a way of living, and our practices reflect our beliefs. We celebrate seven sacraments, all instituted by Jesus, to make the love of God real and present in the world. We gather in public worship, especially and principally on the Lord's Day, for the celebration of the Eucharist, the source and summit of Christian life. We honour the people of great faith who have preceded us, especially Mary, the Mother of God, and the saints whose intercession we call upon. We recognise and respect the dignity of all people, for each person is made in the image and likeness of God. We are stewards who care for the world around us. We know that God is present in all of creation. As Catholics, we not only live within our tradition, but we are part of a living tradition. We not only seek the truth, but we give witness to the truth. We are not only drawn into a love of Christ, but we are called to love like Christ. We live out His great command to love God and love others. We are a pilgrim church a church that serves as a sign and servant of God's kingdom, one that engages with the world, seeks dialogue and pursues justice and truth. We remember the past with gratitude, live the present with enthusiasm and look to the future with hope and confidence. For Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever.